Welcome to the E2 Affirmation Through the New Year Challenge, transmuting every area of our life into higher frequencies of embodiment, empowerment, and love. This is an amazing opportunity to ride the death rebirth portal that we are all on in our own way. Hey, Shawnee. Yes. Now we have just upgraded our experience with Shawnee being here. So how about this? Let's just begin, Shawnee. We'll begin with the E2 affirmation. We'll see who else joins and then we'll go from there. So I'll do the first part. I'll pause and then you repeat. And uh, the key thing here, and this is actually very, very important. And this is kind of a secret that's not really a secret. Hey, Nick, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. So this is a secret that we often don't think about, but we've all experienced. So the secret is when we slow down our mind, we actually increase our frequency in a good way. And we increase our ability to manifest miracles. So I'll repeat that again because it's kind of important. When we slow down our mind, we actually increase our frequency and increase our capacity to experience miracles. So we're going to do the E2 affirmation and we're going to pretend that we are children and we're playing a game where we're in a movie. And what we're going to do is we're going to say the E2 affirmation in slow motion. <laughs> and when we slow down our speaking, it, you could say we're slowing down our thinking, but in a conscious way. Hey, Paige, thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time here, this is the E2 affirmation through the New Year Challenge, where we consciously choose to transmute every area of our life just as it is, inside and out, into higher frequencies of love. Now, how are we doing this? That's a good question. <laughs> so I'm doing it in my own way. I am, yeah, it's kind of graphic, but deal with it. <laughs> I am bringing healing to all of that energy, the pain, everything that's going on. So I'm releasing the old energies with love, and integrating them. But I'm also, I'm not just focusing on what am I fixing, what am I healing, what am I letting go of. But if there was no brain cancer, in my case, what would I be doing with my life? Nothing? No, there would still be all of the dreams in my heart. There would still be the green beverages going into my body. So I think that's important for us to remember that Yes, we are human and we have pain and challenges, especially in the world now, but we are also beyond the body. Like We each have dreams in our heart, so it's important to honor both. And I'm kind of an extreme example of that with the uh, brain cancer and the pain and all this stuff and still have another head surgery coming up. If you can imagine having one head surgery, you make it through, you recover, you're like, yeah, good to go. Oh, man, then I need another head surgery. All right, I'm going to get through this, dust the energetic dirt off my energetic shoulder. And then, all right, good to go. Oh, man, I need a third and a fourth. Okay, I can do it. Cool. And then a new tumor. All right, no problem. And then another fifth head surgery. <laughs> Okay, I can do it. So that's that's been my experience, and I'm, I'm doing my best to be humble and to be strong and also to not be selfish, too. And then also to not be, like, self-sacrificing, and I have my own needs to take care of. So I think maybe we can all relate. We're all maybe dealing with a lot on our plate, <laughs> or we have a lot in our jar, <laughs> you could say. So uh, part of this E2 affirmation is to, to let go of the distractions, let go of what we don't have control over, and consciously tell the universe, 
I am embodied. I am empowered, just as I am. Not after I change anything, or after I manifest anything, or after the world changes, or after I integrate anything in the past, but right now, as I am, I am embodied. I am <laughs> empowered. So that, that's what we're doing. So we're doing the E2 affirmation. And more so, and what's even more awesome, is that each person can share an intention. Like, I want to do cocaine one less day per week. That could be your intention, and that's perfectly okay. Any intention is okay in this group. Or your intention could be, for the new year, starting now, um, I want to drink one extra glass of water a day. Whatever it is, make it as personal as possible. These are your intentions, not what you should do or what somebody else is doing, but what are you creating in your life? I have to face death and pain every day in a very real way, so... I feel lucky for this opportunity, and that's why I'm doing this live stream so that everyone here can kind of go through their own conscious death rebirth portal, use any challenges, and leverage them to support your dreams. So, with that being said, um, let's begin. Hey Chris, thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Matt. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Paige, Nick. And thank you, Shani, again, for being here. So first, let's begin with just a few simple practices. Breathing. You're already breathing, so <laughs> good job. Simple breathing, simple E2 affirmation, and then grounding meditation, and then we'll go from there. So I was going to say, how does this sound to everyone? but I'm assuming it sounds wonderful to you. Okay, so what we're doing in this, it's not just entertainment, you're listening to me speak. We are practicing right now, in real time, being present. Because who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow or in a month or whatever. So we wanna do these practices now to cultivate this good energy in your mind, in your voice, in your breathing. And uh, just keep on building this positive momentum. And then throughout the day, you're doing your own practices to transmute the energies into a higher frequency by letting go of energies you don't need and adding more positive energies into your diet, your life, your environment, anything, music, uh, just things you look at, adding more positive energy to what comes in the eyes. And then we come together in this group to support each other's intentions. So first, we're gonna start with very simple breathing. We'll do the E2 affirmation three rounds, come into a short meditation, just one minute, and then we'll go from there with people sharing their intentions. Okay, so we'll start with a deep breath in, fill up your whole body with breath, and then exhaling and relaxing. Good, one more time, a deep breath in, lifting the shoulders up, creating some tension, and then exhaling and relaxing the shoulders. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed, lift the chest, almost like you're exaggerating, I am proud, just as I am, I'm confident. So you wanna shift the body, bring the shoulders back, and if you can comfortably, try to keep the body in that position. I'm in some pain, so I'm going to relax a little bit, um, but do what feels good for you. Okay, we'll do three rounds. I'll say one part, and then I'll pause, and then you can repeat. We'll do that three times. Okay, so let's begin. I am embodied. And then you'll repeat. I am embodied. I am am empowered. I am empowered. <laughs> okay, second round. I am embodied. And we're consciously doing it slow. I am embodied. 
I am empowered. I am empowered. And again, I am embodied. I am empowered. So we're programming the subconscious mind right now. Okay, third round, make it a good one. I am embodied. I am embodied. I am <laughs> empowered. Good, and then take a deep breath in and then hold the breath after you inhale. And then exhaling, visualize the energy going all the way down towards the center of the earth, keeping the eyes closed, relaxing the breathing. And just for one minute, try to keep the body still, relaxing the breathing and being present. All right, awesome. See, one minute can feel really, really good. Who knows, maybe you have years of experience in previous lifetimes of meditation. Maybe that's why you can go into it deeply. So you don't necessarily need 10 minutes, 20 minutes, hours and hours, or deep weeks of training. Those are good, but you can go deep very quickly. Because, you know, meditation is basically just being present and connecting with your unique vibration. And that's here now. Great. So would anyone like to share any New Year's intentions? Any dreams in your heart that you want to cultivate? Anything you want to create in the new year that you'd like to begin literally right now in the moment, in this moment, in your mind and in your heart? And if you'd like to, you can type it in the comments. And then all of us will do the E2 affirmation. We'll come into a short meditation and we'll send you lots of love and positive energy from that space. I think there's a little delay here. So I'm going to, I say something and then I have to wait, I think at least 15 seconds. Kind of wish I was in the cold bath right now doing this live stream. Next time. <clears throat> Maybe tomorrow I'll be in the ice bath while we're doing the live stream. Shawnee says prosperity. Good. So Shawnee, your part here will be, you'll be in your own meditation and just feeling the energy of prosperity. This is very important. Don't worry about how it's going to happen or when. But try to get your body and your energy field used to the prosperity energy. Because eventually, <laughs> I can restart, yeah. Eventually, every area of your life will be filled with this energy. I know, yeah, yeah, that was about the bath, I know. Um, so, you're, you're, you're getting me... Uh, you're getting me excited about the cold bath. I'll, I'll, I'll stay focused on this right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go in cold water without the ice. That might feel nice. So, Shawnee, be in the energy of prosperity right now. Even if the finances or anything, maybe an area of your life doesn't always feel prosperous, 
Try to just connect with it as best as you can. Maybe even feel one area of your life that does feel prosperous. Maybe you have a cozy blanket and that feels like prosperity for you. Or maybe your beautiful daughter, that's a form of prosperity. So try to connect with prosperity in yourself and then we're going to do the E2 affirmation Come into meditation and send you lots of love and prayers. And do your best to stay in the prosperity energy and receive our prayers. And you could join in the E2 affirmation or you could just sit in silence in that prosperity energy. And whoever else is here, feel free to join. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> and again, nice and slow. It's very, very important to ground right now. Okay, let's begin. I am embodied. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am empowered. Round two. I am embodied. Welcome, Mark. Round number two we're doing. I am empowered. And we'll repeat. I am empowered. Okay, round three coming up. Feel free to join if you just arrived. I am embodied. Feel free to like open your chest, feel embodied. I am <laughs> empowered. Good. And then take a deep breath in. Once you can't breathe in anymore, hold the breath. And then nice and slow, exhaling, visualize the energy going all the way down towards the center of the earth. Connecting your heartbeat with the Earth's heartbeat. Coming into instant meditation. We'll be here for one minute of really deep, powerful meditation. And from this space, try to visualize that you're sh sending Shani lots and lots of love. And Shani's prayer for prosperity in every area of her life. So we'll take one minute, sending Shani lots of love and positive energy. Actually do it. Don't just think about doing it, but try to feel it and send her this energy. Right, beautiful. Good job. See, ideally, we would be in person, all of us, and then we could share our experience. We can do other practices. But what we are doing is showing the universe we have faith. We're using the current technologies and the current situation to quite literally create higher frequency technologies and new situations. Facebook won't last forever. YouTube won't last forever. There's going to be more conscious technologies we're going to make it through this. So uh, we're doing the best we can, all of us. Great. So uh, thank you, Rachel, for being here. Thank you, Mark, for being here. Uh, we're doing the E2 affirmation through the New Year Challenge. We're doing our best to use every situation to manifest the dreams in our heart. This is much easier said than done. Uh, I'm trying to do my best to transmute the pain in the head the limitations on the left side of the body from the tumor on the right side of the body, many other challenges in my life personally, but mm, something in my heart is calling me to use the situation to try to help others and help myself. And in a sense, I have no other choice. I'm stuck in this situation. So it's like, what am I going to do now? That's kind of the, the question that we're asking ourselves here. 
And we're telling the universe as our answer, just as I am, just as the situation is, just as the world is, deep down inside, I am embodied. Deep down inside, I am empowered. Now, we're not bypassing the, the fears, the stress, our humanity, but we're also not bypassing the fact that the truth is we are connected with a higher power. We're connected with great spirit all the time. Proof of that is that the breath is moving through you. Uh, your heart is beating right now. So as long as there's breath, there's hope. Even if there's no breath, maybe it'll come back. So, yeah, thank you, old Paul. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Thank you for, um, she said, Ethan, I pray for you to return to your infinite excitement. <laughs> Well, I'm already there in many ways, but I'd love to release the pain. I'm trying to be humble and accept it. I'd love to heal the body. I'm, I'm trying to be humble and accept the limitations, but that would be awesome. So I'm trying to work in both, both realms, the death realm and the life realm. All right, so who's next? Mark, Rachel, Opal, would you like to share any intentions? Make them as big as you want. Like these are these are your intentions, these are your prayers. Um, sometimes it's helpful to write it down, and if the space is supportive, which we are, to put it out there, bigger than what you think you can do. So this way, if you fall short, if you want to look at it like that, then you're still going to be making huge strides. Um, so if you have any intentions you want to share, you could type them in the comments. We'll do the E2 affirmation for three rounds. Come into a one-minute meditation and send whoever shares their intention lots of love and positive energy. So, who would like to share? Let's see. Anyone? Great. Opal says, my intention is to fuel myself with salvation and purity. Beautiful. So, Opal, your job will be to be as, oh, and to receive for the highest good in what I desire to create. So, again, she says, my intention is to fuel myself with salvation and purity and to receive for the highest good in what I desire to create. Beautiful. So again, we're all practicing here. This is not, uh, this is a, a practice. So Opal, your practice will be to be as fully present as you can with those beautiful intentions you just shared, as if you're in your own temple space right now in your body, in your breath, in your mind. Try to have really good focus in this energy and allow yourself to receive prayers and love from all of us and all of the universe is fully supporting your intentions in every single way right now. And this is the beginning of something very, very beautiful. Okay, so everyone else will do the E2 affirmation three times. Nice and slow. <laughs> Consciously, to ground, to slow down. When we slow down our mind, it's almost like our spirit awakens and quickens. And then we'll come into meditation, sending Opal lots of love and positive energy. Okay, let's begin. I am embodied. And then we'll repeat. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am am empowered. Awesome. Round number two. I am embodied. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am empowered. Okay, 
Third round, make it a good one. I am embodied. You can even put your body in an embodied position. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am empowered. And then take a deep breath in at the top of the inhale. Hold the breath. And then nice and slow, exhaling, grounding the energy into the core of the earth. Connect your heartbeat with the earth's heartbeat. Forget about the instant coffee. We're coming into instant meditation. Closing the eyes if you want. Coming into your form of meditation, cultivating your unique vibration, and sending Opal all of the love and positive energy in your heart, because there's more where that came from. Sending her intentions, lots of love and support and prayers. So we'll be here for one min minute in meditation, sending Opal love and positive energy. Okay, beautiful. And then we'll all take a deep breath in, lifting the shoulders up a little bit. And then exhale out of the mouth any sound that wants to come out. Relaxing the shoulders. <sighs> Not just one thumb, but two thumbs up for all of you. Good job. Good. So this is a very simple practice. Um, the idea is that we're building our prayer muscles and our intention muscles. We're giving love to each other. We're receiving love. This is great. Thank you, Jennifer, for being here, for being here, for your amazing healing. It just keeps on continuing. Good. So who's next? Think big. Think really big. I've been thinking really big, especially today, which my friend Jennifer helped me think even bigger. So I'll share my intentions, and then we'll do the E2 affirmation for me and my intentions. Um, so my intentions, and this is, I'm just going to go right with the scary. <laughs> oh, but first, Opal felt so much warmth on my core and saw a visual of a heart. That's awesome. That's what I want to this to be for us to, um, in real time, practice sending love and prayers and then sharing what we felt, you know? So I appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it's like part of my um, challenges in life, you could say, is running away from the dreams in my heart. I don't do that now. Yeah, there are still challenges and I'm an imperfect human, but I used to run away a lot. So now, and I would have the feeling of overwhelm, just feeling overwhelmed by being a human, by everything, just even beautiful things. I would feel overwhelmed, just so much energy. So now it's like I have years of practice in dealing with that overwhelm feeling. And now talk about being overwhelmed with brain cancer and all this pain and challenges and let alone what's happening in the world. So I feel like the luckiest person in the world because now I get to transmute this overwhelm into mm, a psychic once told me the phrase, the joy of surrender is a very important phrase for me. So that's what I'm trying to practice. 
every single day there's pain but then i kind of and challenges but then surrender to it and then there's joy and then there are more challenges and then joy so i'm trying to get better at the practice of um, being humble and surrendering to the dreams in my heart not being passive and like nothing but like participating so point being i have the dream to write many many books i love to write I think I'm a great writer, um, and I feel like I have things that are useful for other people. So I'm going to begin writing, even though, well, and typing, which it's easier for me to type because typing is closer to the speed of my thoughts than writing. So my intention is to begin typing either tonight or tomorrow. Literally, even if I have to just use my right hand and one finger, I'm going to start writing my first book and uh, continue. So my intention is to uh, write books, which I'm actually going to call them e-manuals instead of full, who knows how long they'll be. They might be short, shorter than a book per se, but (laughs) e-manuals. A manual is my spirit guide. So I thought it'd be kind of a cool play on words, E-Manual, plus my name Ethan, or E2 now, which will be E3, so E-Manual. <laughs> and then also it'll be like digital, so it's an E-Manual. So that's one of my big scary intentions. It's kind of scary because when we write, we have to face the truth, you could say. Um, so that's one of my intentions. My intention is to Uh, fully heal and fully come into the most vibrant health I've ever been in, in my whole life, even since I was a child. My intentions also are to document my journey. Um, My intention is to um, experience the most amount of U.S. dollars and prosperity than I've ever experienced in my whole life. So this way I can benefit myself, my family, my sphere of influence, and many, many people. So I want my situation to lead towards lots and lots of money, prosperity, health, uh, beauty, uh, music. That's something else I've run away from. I I created a lot of music in the past, but I want to continue to follow that dream. Um, Dance, um, art, so many of these beautiful energies I want to create and more so I want to share them with other people. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I want to have some sort of platform separate from Facebook and YouTube and um, all those controlled platforms. I want to have my own platform where I can share freely. I can sell things. I can support people and create a community. Mm. Hope this isn't too long. I know I'm the only one talking. You are you are only able to type, so I'll make I'll finish this up soon. Um, also, I want to I have already started continuing at the Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine. That's something else that I kind of I was doing it. I was teaching Thai yoga certification courses, but just like got away from it. So I've reconnected with the school and I've began online trainings. They invited me to come to the school in Florida in May. So that seems like, how is that going to happen? I need to heal. I can't travel. I, I, I still have another head surgery. But I said, no, I'm setting the vision. Who knows how it will happen, but I'm going to Florida in May for a 30-day intensive training with other students with the Achan, or the master of the school, in person in Florida in May for my birthday, <laughs> May 13th. So there you go. Those are my intentions. There's more, but okay. So yeah, that was long. I know I've taken up time here, but thank you for your support. So let's do the E2 affirmation. Actually, all of you will do it on your own, in your own way, and then come into meditation. And I am going to allow myself to slow down and to receive love and prayers and support from you right now as I face my fears with all the intentions I just shared, because that means um, I have to be humble and heal and take care of my own needs. And when I have energy, I have to 
like do these practices and feed these energies, even though there's fear. Of, is there enough time? All these old stories. So I don't know how it's going to manifest, but I know every day that uh, I'm going to put energy towards it. Okay, so let's begin two, three rounds of the E3, E2 affirmation as I receive. Thank you. And then when everyone is done, if you could just type in complete or something, or I'm done. Awesome. Thank you, Shani. Thank you, Apal. Uh, thank you, everyone who's here. Um, so what did I feel? I felt like it's okay to... Um, it's like, like a comforting feeling from all of you. Mm. That almost like... Like, I felt a deep sense of trusting the journey. And that, um, trusting that any, any, um, like, fears or old escapes or old, um, or any actions or thoughts or beliefs that created my pain and situation in the first place, that it's okay. And that actually, I am integrated now. I am whole now in my mind and my heart. And in a sense, I, I got a sense of like, it's okay. And it's over. Like the past is over. And that I've actually done the work. It's not like this just started today. This has been 14 months and even beyond that. Like years of integrating these old energies. And it's okay to create from a space of wholeness. And like the, the pain will go away, the body will heal. And now I'm ready to create from this space. In the past, I couldn't. You know, like a drug addict, is hard, it's hard for a drug addict to create much beauty. So there was a point where I felt like, well, I can't create the beauty because there are these fears and escapes. And so it's this constant thing of like, I can't be happy now until I heal the past. But I realized that like, the, there was so much therapy and coaching for healing to get to a point where I was able to kind of accept my humanity, you could say. And then... <laughs> And then the whole brain tumor cancer thing began 14 months ago. So I guess I'm just letting go of any remnants of the old energy of the limiting beliefs, not enough time, it's too much, there's too much beauty that wants to be created. Can one person do all that? But now just all of your prayers help me feel the energy of everything's aligned perfectly. Like everything's happening as it should and I can go slow I can just 
just do what I can and it's gonna get better. So thank you very much, everyone. You're all amazing. Okay, so let's not get complacent. Who's next? Valiant? Valiant, that is an amazing name. I don't think we've met. Or if we have, I'm sorry, I forgot. But Valiant, we are doing the E2 affirmation, which is I am embody. I am empowered. So who knows? Maybe you don't feel embodied and empowered, but part of what we're doing is we're reprogramming the subconscious mind by reaffirming this as many times as we can. And then maybe one day you'll feel embodied and empowered. So that's part of what we're doing. Also, what we're doing is we're saying, well, I'm going to practice just for a few moments, letting go of everything. And I actually do feel empowered now. So I'm going to just give myself that opportunity. And then we cultivate that energy and send it to whoever shared their New Year's intention, like uh, Shani did, and then Opal, and then I just did. Um, so would anyone else like to share your New Year's intentions? Sometimes, like, it's sad. People go days on end without even thinking of what they want or the dreams in their heart. Instead, they let other people's thoughts and beliefs and images come into their consciousness in the form of like YouTube videos or movies or whatever. Those are other people's thoughts and images and sounds. They can be beautiful, but what about your thoughts and your imagination and your inner dialogue and maybe your inner music? So this is a chance for us to remind ourselves that, yeah, I have amazing ideas and sounds and feelings inside of my consciousness. So you can think about what are those dreams in your heart. And if you'd like, you could type them in the comments. And then all of us will do the E2 affirmation. Hey, Carolyn, thank you for being here. We'll come into meditation for a minute. And we'll send your prayers and intentions lots and lots of positive energy. So who's next? Who would like to share your intention for the new year that you'd like to energetically begin right now? It only starts with one little moment, and then you can build positive momentum. I know there's a little delay here in my sound and when you hear it, I think. Um, so we'll wait a few more seconds. Uh, you can type it in the comments. And then uh, I'll read it, and then we'll all do the E2 affirmation, come into meditation, and send you lots of love. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way where, like, I don't even know how to use Zoom besides one-on-one -on -one chatting, but if there's a way to do uh, where we can all be on the camera, or at least audio if we want to, that would be really amazing. That would be so much better than you having to type in, you know? Uh, but for now, this is what we're doing. So would anyone else like to share any intentions? Even if you did it before, why not just, why not go all night? We'll just eight hours straight of doing this. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Who knows what would happen then? So many amazing things. Google Meet. Thank you, Shani. I've never used that. Do people use that, actually? <laughs> I don't know if people only use Zoom and this, but yeah, Google Meet. Maybe I'm going to check that out. Thank you. Um, hmm, interesting. I wonder if people would use that. Yeah, I'm going to look into that. Um, so would anyone else like to share any intentions? Hey, Brandy, thanks for being here. Miracles manifested, <laughs> Opal says. So if you just arrived, welcome to the E2 affirmation through the New Year Challenge where we are not waiting until we say Happy New Year. And then we play music or throw confetti. We're not even waiting until tomorrow morning. We're starting right now, probably in the most inconvenient situation we've ever been in. And if we could start now, then that's putting out the energy to the universe that it's not conditional love. 
we're doing our best to love ourselves unconditionally. And I think, I think that means loving the dreams in our heart. Like we have a relationship with the dreams in our heart. Um, so yeah, what, what we're doing is each person has a chance to share your intentions. You could type it into the chat. And then all of us will do the E2 affirmation to cultivate positive energy. We'll come into meditation. And from a meditative space, we're going to send you, whoever shares your intention, lots and lots of love and prayers. It's a very simple practice, but some people, believe it or not, have never done this in their whole life. Send somebody prayers or received prayers in this type of way, which is kind of sad. So we are doing something very powerful, very simple, and hopefully even fun. So who wants to share your intention? Brandy? I don't think you have yet. Or anyone else? This is actually helpful for me because because of the extreme pain that I'm in all the time in my head and then the the body pain in different parts of the body, um, I can't do many physical practices, can't do many breathing practices besides just gently breathing and focusing on the exhales. But I've discovered that speaking is a form of breathing. So it's helpful for me to do these live streams and kind of like I have to speak during the live streams for a certain part anyway. So it's helpful for me to do this, like build up my lung endurance. Um, so thank you for being here and allowing me to um, uh, do my own practices. Great. Opal says, I would love to share one more intention. My intention is to be confident in my expression and speak on stages dash events slash share my wisdom and be fully supported and protected on my path to meet the right oh i'm sorry to meet the right soul people and to receive the wealth i desire to live my experiences of bridging us back to nature and live my full life purpose through allowing love to win heart shape heart shape heart shape Hmm. Wow, that is powerful. I felt good just reading that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is amazing. Very, very amazing. All right, so again, Opal, your practice will be to, as you are, as best as you can, feel the vibration of that energy. If any doubts come in, if any other thoughts come in, do your best to keep on coming back to that vibration of all of those intentions you just shared. And we're just going to do this a short amount of time, just like one or two minutes. So try to have laser-like focus. Be in that energy and all of us will be, well in this case, uh, Shawnee and I, We'll be doing the E2 affirmation, cultivating our unique vibration, which is another name of uh, God's energy moving through us. Bless me. I didn't sneeze. <laughs> Bless you too, Clint. Um, and then we're all going to send you lots of love. And, and we're going to, this will be unconditional. We don't care how it's going to happen or when or if it's going to happen. Or we don't even need to see proof. We're, we're just going to have so much confidence that your intentions and your dream has already manifested on the deepest realms. That we're going to send you the love, let it go, and um, be really happy as we do this. Okay, so again, we're going to consciously slow down, ground, and do the E2 affirmation at three times before meditation. Okay, let's begin. I am embodied. I am embodied. 
I am empowered. I am empowered. Round number two. I am embodied. Good. Keep on being present, Opal. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am empowered. Round number three. Make it a good one. I am embodied. I am embodied. I am <laughs> empowered. Good, and then take a deep breath in, breathing in good energy, filling up all the way, and then slowly exhaling, visualize your energy moving down into the core of the earth, connecting your heartbeat with the earth's heartbeat, Coming into instant meditation, eyes open or closed, breathing gently, feeling your unique vibration and positive energy, sending lots and lots of love to Opal and her beautiful, amazing, powerful intentions. We'll be here for two minutes, just as we are, beginning now. Good, and nice and slow, lifting the shoulders up and inhaling and opening the mouth a little and exhale, relax the shoulders, let any sound come out of the mouth. <sighs> awesome. Very, very good. So now, Opal, your job and all of our jobs each day is to do what we can as we are to nourish the dreams in our heart. So this is really, I think this is ideal. Ideally, we would each have our own sacred space to do our practices, you know? And then we would also have community to receive and give support. We will be together in person one day, but for now we're, we're, we're maximizing the technologies that we have, you know? Um, so it's a really cool opportunity that we all have. Um, and I'm very grateful for your love and your support. I'm in a very, you know, if I'm being honest with myself, it is a challenging, painful situation. Um, I'm not overlaying that language in every moment and saying this is lang or this is challenging, this is painful, but it is. Um, so it's a great opportunity for me to be with you and to um, cultivate this good energy. I don't care if there's one person here or a million or if it's just me, I'm going to put 
out the same energy um, because I think this is this is uh, our role. Our role is not to do more than we can, you know, and or I guess what I'm trying to say is love or yeah, I love you too. <laughs> yes, love. That's that's the answer. Fear is the virus. Love is the cure. So thank you, everyone, for being here for this E2 affirmation through the New Year challenge. And if it's nighttime where you are, I hope you have a beautiful night and experience lots of blessings and you rest well. And oh, also, if anyone feels like you want more support, if you want to do some more practices separate from these live streams, you can reach out to me. We'll set up a time and we'll do some practices. Um, all of this is completely free. If you if it's easeful for you to donate to my Brain Cancer Healing Fund, you can. Any amount helps immensely. And if not, that's just as awesome. So either way, we're cultivating positive energy, trusting that support is here and more support is coming. Um, so thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow and you're welcome to join. All right, have a great night. E2 here, wishing you well.